Now that Dragon Ball Super's Tournament of Power has ended, one of the last videos I wanted to make on it is the Tournament of Power levels. We got introduced to so many new characters in this arc, and the power scale for how strong some of these guys have gotten, it's immense, especially Goku. However, while there were some really strong additions, most of the guys in the Tournament of Power weren't strong because of their power. Guys like Daemon or the Invisible Man from Universe 4, they all had special abilities that they could use to survive, and so for a lot of characters, strength and power, even though that's what the tournament is, they just couldn't compete with the likes of Goku and everyone else. So, starting from the beginning, Goku's base form is very powerful and would have been enough to take out more than half of the fighters, but as we know, Goku has transformations and the most common form that was used was Super Saiyan Blue. In this form, he can pretty much take out anyone in the tournament. Vegeta is about the same as Goku, he doesn't have as many transformations, but with the level of power we're dealing with, you can't really separate these two. Early on we saw Universe 9's Trio de Danger, and I really liked Bergamo, I think as far as his universe goes, he's probably not run into anyone much stronger than him, but now he's dealing with Goku and Vegeta, and from what was shown of the strongest Universe 9 fighter, without absorbing energy, he couldn't even challenge base form Goku. Before the tournament started, we saw all 12 Gods of Destruction and the only time they all fought against each other, everything was made pretty equal, and it actually made Beerus out to be looking like one of the strongest, so even from the beginning, Beerus's power has remained the same all throughout Dragon Ball Super. And it's the same with Whis, however Whis and the rest of the other angels have been made out to be not just the strongest beings of the multiverse, but it also looks like they can't even be touched when it comes to a fight. Looking at the rest of Universe 7, Gohan got a little bit of a boost, and his max power could still beat most of the max power, I just realized that, could still beat most of the fighters in this tournament, but when you compare it to his dad and Vegeta, you can see why at the end of DBZ, is the way he is. And fun fact on Gohan, the year this arc takes place in is the same year that future Gohan died. Android 17 was the biggest surprise in this tournament for me. We knew he was strong, before the tournament he was rivaling SS Blue Goku, but to actually hang on and win the tournament, he's the real MVP. Frieza didn't do much until the end, but his power was made out to be on the same level as Super Saiyan Blue Goku, if not a little bit higher. Jiren was the reason Universe 7 couldn't just sweep through everyone. Without him, everything would have been completely different. There's two phases to Jiren. A suppressed Jiren and a full powered Jiren. Suppressed Jiren is what it started as, and even as it is, Jiren is still by far the strongest fighter, coming in as as strong as a god of destruction. Now, because I'm going in auto, coming back to Goku, adding Kaioken onto Super Saiyan Blue, helps, and it does make him stronger, but not against Jiren. This is where the omen comes in for the first time, and surprisingly, it doesn't boost his power up by much. He is still so far away from Jiren in this form considering Jiren suppressed, but aside from him, Ultra Instinct Omen Goku is the strongest fighter in the tournament. From Universe 6, Hit almost beat Jiren all by himself. Hit is meant to be able to improve in battle very fast, and I think he did, it's just the guy he came up against was Jiren. His power is just under Ultra Instinct Goku. Universe 11 had three guys carry them into the final, and they were Dispo, Topo, and Jiren. Dispo at full power was able to get some advantages on Frieza, but ultimately was taken down by Frieza and Gohan together. Topo in his normal form was going to get knocked out by 17 and Frieza, however, God of Destruction Topo was quickly able to turn the tables, he is just above Goku's Kaiken times 20. Vegeta's transformation at the end of the tournament was very, very blue, and the way he defeated Topo was by putting all of his energy into a single attack that probably should have killed him. All of his energy was enough to eliminate Topo, so he has to be around that level, if not a bit higher. Jiren at full power is strong, I'll give him that, but what's funny is that he looked more menacing when he wasn't even trying, just being honest. When Goku learns how to use Ultra Instinct the correct way, it blows everything we've ever seen out of the park. This man has surpassed Beerus, he has surpassed Jiren, and all of the other Gods of Destruction. That's why they all stood up. The next step for Goku now, after this, is Whis. Speaking of Whis, the only person stronger than him is the Grand Priest. He is, right now, the strongest fighter in Dragon Ball. Not just with power, but with everything else. He can manipulate time, matter, and even revive people from the dead. So that is how I rank the Tournament of Power levels. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, last time I did this, it was wrong. Hand up, my bad. It wasn't too far off, but it wasn't 100%. And with this, I'm pretty sure it's 100%.
wink wink someone come in and correct me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video